It's Natalie, the Sustainability Coordinator for the City of Dunedin, and I'm here to talk about recycling. What not to recycle, what to recycle, contamination, all of those confusing questions, recycling tips, the state of recycling, and lastly, where does our recycling go? To start, let's talk about what can go in the recycling bin. It's really just a few basic items. First, we have cardboard, paperboard, plastic bottles and jugs, Newspaper, mail, and office paper. Glass bottles and jars. And aluminum cans. Ta-da! Now let's talk about the no list, or what cannot be accepted in the program. Basically anything that's not on the yes list is really the no list, but that could take all day to go through. So we're mainly gonna focus on the main contaminants in the recycling program. That would be plastic bags, so that you throw plastic bags in or you bag your recycling, it just can't be in the recycling bin. The next one would be brush and yard debris. This really contaminates the load and should be placed curbside at your home. Our next one would be styrofoam, whether that's packaging or if it's egg cartons or styrofoam cups, make sure to put those in the garbage. The other one would be tanglers, and finally, textiles and clothing. Nothing smaller than your fist should go in the recycling bin. Now, everyone has a different fist size, so we like to say about the size of a hockey puck. And this is because those little items get stuck in the machines and also cause contamination to the other loads. These things could be shredded paper, lids, K-cups, and other items. Now, if you do have a lid, you can either twist it on very tight to the container or remove it completely. Tip number two would be to not bag your recycling. Now, and when you go to the grocery store, you can actually buy these blue recyclable bags, but they're not actually accepted into our program, so make sure everything goes in loose so it can be processed efficiently. Disregard the recycling symbol. Now I know that sounds crazy, but really the recycling symbol doesn't have much regulation and it's slapped on almost every item. Really focus on just the few basic items that can be accepted in our program. The recycling symbol can mean something was made out of a recyclable item or it can mean it's recyclable in a different program. So make sure you always check with your local program, including our Dunedin Green Sea program. Well, I'm part of a condo association, and, and it's, uh, it's interesting to see what people throw in to the recycling uh, that doesn't belong there, or people that throw stuff in the garbage that should be in recycling. Uh, you know, people in the association come from all over the country, and everybody has different rules for recycling, so I can see it's, it's complicated. There's, there's a lot to learn uh, right on the ground level here. I hope this video has been helpful. I'm Natalie with Dunedin Green Scene, reminding you to keep Dunedin delightful by recycling. Go on our city website under Dunedin Green Scene 